people, this is Tinka, and today I'm going to be reviewing a pro cosplay. So, I have recently ordered a winter shiny cosplay um, from this website, and I thought I'd do a review about it. I decided that I wanted to cosplay winter for Kineticon 2017, so I started looking online to where I can purchase one of these cosplays. Now, <laughs> I did not want to make this cosplay because there is a lot of sewing. A lot of sewing and this would take me months to make. So to make it easier on me I decided to buy it. Unfortunately Winter is less of a popular character than the other Ruby characters so it was a little bit harder to find a cosplay for her. So I started doing my research online, I looked at a couple different websites, I posted on a buying, selling, commissioning cosplay um, group and just kind of like poking around for price ranges and stuff. Most were pretty pricey and the pictures I saw I didn't like. So finally, I came across ProCosplay.com. Now, I was first of all very impressed with the pictures on the website. Um, they had the little logo of Pro Cosplay, meaning that this is actually their photos, they're not taking from someone else. Um, also, they had pictures of the cosplay from close up and from different, um, I guess, like versions. So you have just the blouse, the blouse with the vest, the jacket, close up with the jacket, just everything. It was a pretty good looking site. I looked at reviews, all of them were very good, so I decided to jump in and buy this. I went for fast shipping because I knew I wanted to edit the cosplay a little bit when it came and I wanted to give myself time for that. So the entire purchase was $126. Without the fast shipping, I feel it would be closer to $100. I don't remember the exact prices. Either way, for a cosplay like this, that is really good. So when I first ordered the cosplay, I didn't get a notice from Pro Cosplay. I got one from PayPal. They said that the transaction went through and everything's all set. To be on the safe side, I decided to email Pro Cosplay just asking, um, just wanted to make sure that everything went through, that I gave you the right email and everything like that. They got back to me like a couple hours later and said that yes, everything's good, your cosplay's being made, what time do you need to buy? Oh, they're asking me what time I need to buy this is great. So I told them please get it to me before July 4th. Now, I ordered it June 11th. It came June 26th or earlier. It came in like less than two weeks. It was awesome. You never get this kind of service, um, especially if the cosplay is coming all the way from China, which I, th I think I think Pro Cosplay is in China. Either way, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, I came home and I saw a package with all the different cosplay things in it. So, um, yeah, I thought that I'd go through and show you the different things. Um, 
all in all, I was very, very impressed with it. Now, everything about this cosplay is the same as I saw online. Like, there's no surprises here, and I'm very happy about this. Um, some things which I see as kind of like meh, I've I noticed that and I like expected that so I got exactly what I paid for and exactly what I wanted. There's a couple things I would change just because I'm picky with these kind of things, mainly is the pants because oh, oh my god, they were so sweaty. For a winter con, she'd be fine. For a summer con, you might get heat stroke so you know, wear it for just a couple hours and change. I don't like these boot, boot pants things. Winter has boots, not pants. Well, she has pants, but she has the boots over it, and this gray part is part of the boots. So I was originally, I bought it knowing that I'm going to be making my own boots. Um, so I probably won't use the pants. Honestly, if you're not a sewer and you want to use the pants, then go for it. They're very good pants. Just wear some like dark gray heels that match this color. Um, I personally wanted to go a different route, so that's what I'm doing. Um, one thing that does frustrate me is this this thing, um, I'm probably going to sew it onto the actual jacket, just hand stitch it on. Um, I don't super like how it sits on me, but it isn't terrible, I, I'll go for it. Um, again, if you are not a sewer, then yeah, totally just kind of fiddle around with this, maybe save two pin in one or two places and it'll stay just fine. The last thing which I don't like are the gloves. They are pretty cheap material, which you know is what I expected. Um, they're not sheer, which is very good. Sometimes Costco gloves are sheer. Um, they look like they could tear easily, so you have to be careful. Um, and my only, my main problem is that they kind of fall down. Like they're not, they're not as like high as I want them to be. I want them to be a bit, you know, farther down my arm. If I have time, I'll remake the gloves with a sturdier material. But again, if I don't, I will be safety pinning them to the black. So um, yeah, all in all, I am very impressed with this cosplay. Um, it was very simple, it was very straightforward, and I think that Pro Cosplay did an awesome job. Um, I'll put their link down below if you guys want to check them out. They have so many options, so many options of cosplay down there. So that was my review. Um, I might make a video showing how I'm going to be editing this cosplay, just because I think that a lot of cosplayers should know how to take a bot cosplay and edit it to fit themselves more perfectly. But other than that, um, thank you for watching. I'll be wearing this at Kineticon, so if you guys see me, say hi. Um, and my con vlogs are going to be probably up soonish. Okay, bye guys!